Welcome to a demonstration of a Netask Firewall Appliance filtering configuration. We are going to see how filtering rules are configured and also build some sample rules. The filtering rules can be accessed from within the Firewall Manager console. There are 10 slots available. A slot is a set of filtering rules. There are 5 pre-configured slots in factory settings. Most important are the slots Block All and Pass All. Activating Block All will block all traffic through the firewall. Activating Pass All will allow any traffic through the firewall. The rest three slots are sample rule sets ready for use. The pre-configured slots can be deleted or edited, but it's recommended to be left at ease and work on a new empty slots. Let's create a sample rule set by editing an empty slot. We start by giving a name to the slot. Next, we are going to create a rule to allow users to access Internet websites. With double-click, we can access the Object Database window. Using the Object Database, we configure as the source our internal subnetwork. This rule will apply to any target IP, but the ports allowed must be only those used by the web services. In the Object Database, we can select specific elements, but also we have the option to create groups of elements for more efficient rule creation. Factory settings come with a pre-configured group of services called Web. It contains the ports needed for web browsing including HTTP, HTTPS and DNS resolution. Last, we need to choose the action that will be applied to the traffic once the rule is triggered. Pass will allow the traffic through the firewall. Don't forget that a rule must be turned on in order to be taken into use. Next, we will create a rule to allow our users access their email via the corporate email server. The source will be the same, our internal network, but the target of the rule must be the mail server. The destination port will be again a pre-configured group of services. This group contains SMTP, POP3 and IMAP services. Finally, we will create a rule to allow Internet hosts to access the corporate web server. In this case, the source must be any. The destination must be the IP of the web server, but the destination port must be HTTP only. We don't want to give access to any other port or on our web server to the Internet hosts. The object database allows us to filter the displayed entries to make configuration easier. In this case, we will not only allow access, but we will also apply a denial of service protection by limiting the number of connections per second allowed to the server. The last rule of a firewall must be such that blocks all of the rest of the traffic as the firewall rules are applied from top to bottom. With Netask firewalls, such a rule is not necessary to be created, as any packet not explicitly allowed will be blocked. We can add it though for visual reference. Once we are ready with the rule set, we must send it to the firewall. In order for the changes to be applied, the slot must be activated. And this completes our demonstration. Thank you very much.